Hardcore is one of the coolest and most fun ways to experience Minecraft, but it's also a little bit dangerous. If you get your seat just right, it'll be a breeze. How you doing everybody, it's me Waddles, and today we're going to take a look at some of the very best seeds that I've found for Hardcore Minecraft 1.20. Let's do this. Well, as well, it is, if you're not sitting down quite yet, you're going to need to take a seed because we begin with a bang. There's only one seed that I can show you straight off off the bat and... <laughs> Let's be honest, have you ever seen a mountain so beautiful, breathtaking, suddenly gorgeous at World Spawn? <sighs> I'll answer it for you. No, 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 you never have. If you pick the first seed we're taking a look at today as your next hardcore world seed, your journey begins a little bit dangerously. You'll kick things off inside of a grove bow. Careful, there's powder snow right over there. Right next to the powder snow, though, you got spruce wood. It's beautiful. Oak wood, birch wood. And even right over here, one of the most romantic wood types of all time. There's a giant, huge cherry blossom at spawn. You also got these two pretty uh, big, relatively small mountains compared to that one, but it's like a nice valley. You could build there, or maybe over in that plains bomb that's right next to even more cherry blossoms. Or maybe you're a little bit more of a get right to it type of lad. You wanna jump into the world, get down deep really, really quick. Well, not a problem. You get this huge mountain right here that also cuts all the way down to the bottom of the world. Maybe jump into this cave, land cleanly inside of that waterfall, and then all of a sudden, you find yourself surrounded by glow squid, creepers. Oh, and the most dangerous biome in all of Minecraft. <laughs> the deep dark biome, right from the start. Back up at world spawn here, let's say maybe instead of going deep, we wanna go high. We climb the mountain, go into the cave, find a bunch of iron. After climbing the top of the mountain, we move along the top of the mountain until we see the outpost <laughs> right at world spawn. But you know what they say, there is one thing better than one outpost, and of course, that's gotta be two outposts, right by World Spawn. Now when exploring through this world, or really any of the other seeds today, I'm sure you'll find even more cool things. If you do, please tell me all about what you find down below. But finally, for today, we know that there's a deep dark biome at World Spawn. Well, deep dark biome, there's only one thing that could mean. So not only do we have one of the biggest deep dark biomes that I've seen in a long time, right at World Spawn, that also reaches pretty high in the world, but we also have one of the most beautiful ancient cities I've ever seen. Head to the coordinates you can see on screen right now and you'll find maybe your first diamond, but absolutely your very first ancient city of this world. And oh boy, when I say ancient city, I mean ancient New York City. <laughs> this is one of the biggest ancient cities I've ever seen. You got the center and then you got so many big buildings just sprawling. You got altars and everything, but oh wait, what's that? You also got skyscrapers in the form of a giant mine shaft that that actually completely caused the demise of this building right there is terrible. But moving through this thing, you get a huge, massive, giant cave, diamonds all over, and then you get a second mine shaft that smashes into the city again. I don't know how this is only one ancient city. I guess these things are just huge, but two mine shafts, one ancient city, spawners here, diamonds, huge cave. Uh, Please, you try and find me a more beautiful ancient city seat, <laughs> because I don't think you can. Whether you're checking these seeds out today on Minecraft Java or Bedrock, seed number two is a whole lot more humble of beginnings. When you kick things off inside of this world, you spawn inside of a savanna biome. It's kind of terrifying. If you caught my other recent seed video, then you remember the blank canvas seed. This is kind of like the equivalent of that seed, except inside of this world. At world spawn, near you, you're gonna have basically every single wood type in the game. I wasn't able to find cherry super close, but there's like everything else. From world spawn inside of this seed, go straight down this river right here, and you'll land yourself at one of the most interesting looking land generations that I've ever seen. We got a river aquifer thing that seems to just suddenly drop off into a giant cave. Move closer and sure enough, it absolutely does. Inside of this cave, you got a lush cave biome. You got the dripstone cave biome. And then if you get deep enough, inside of this same cave, right down there, you got the deep cave. Um, what do you call that thing again? Giving ourselves night vision so we can see a little bit more. And uh, as you can see, it's open to the sky. You move right in. You get a mine shaft right there. Huge, giant, tall pillars all over the place. Oh yeah, and that's right. Not one geode, but actually two geodes sitting right inside of the cave too. If you're into like the cave biomes living under the ground, but maybe having a skylight in your home or something, this sea is beautiful. Also, hey, you'll have to, excuse me, I haven't taken the time to scan every single block in here, but absolutely, with such a big cave, 100% gonna be diamonds right in here easy too. Next up, in preparation for this next seed that is one of the best seeds of this entire video today, I need you to tap that like button. You're gonna wanna tap that like button while we're still inside of this wonderful world because as soon as you see this next one, 
<laughs> oh, as soon as you see this next one, you're going to forget. Dale, but uh, really quick, one final thing. You spawn somewhere over there. You move down to this big cave right here. After you're done checking out the cave, go over the hill to a Badlands bomb for the Terracotta or right next door to a wonderful desert village. And speaking of village, the point of hardcore Minecraft is usually the challenge. The stakes are a little bit higher. What if we just, like, <laughs> took away all of the challenge? Well, if you want to take away all of the challenge, you land on seed number three today. And so, this is the onesie that might be a little bit different on Java and Bedrock. Structures are an imperfect parody. If you're playing seed number three on Minecraft Java, though, you spawn literally right next to a ruined portal. From the start inside of this world, you run over to the ruined portal. You remember that you're in survival Minecraft, so you go back to survival and you start digging down. You pick the right block to dig down on, and right from the start, you find tools. And that pickaxe is not bad. Head over to your local room portal, get geared up a little bit, maybe come back to it later, fix it up, head to the nether, but <laughs> right after that, it's off to your local village. And, oh yeah, yeah, speaking of a local village, it's literally right at world spawn. Yeah, and that's right, hardcore Minecraft player's dream. Beat root seeds right from day one. Oh, huh. it's wonderful. Now, ah, but anyways, a village is a village. You're gonna have a camel here because it's the desert one, and you're probably gonna have some armor inside of this blacksmith's chest as well. Now, from this spot, you got options. If you're into ocean things, head out into the ocean. By heading out into this beautiful warm ocean that's right at World Spawn, you're gonna find a shipwreck, and then somewhere nearby, like right over there or something, you're gonna find an ocean ruin structure. It's actually pretty big too. So if you remember how it goes, in 1.20, you do sharding inside of the warm ocean bomb, and you might come out of the thing with a sniff. After you're done checking out the ocean a little bit, do me a favor, go back to World Spawn and start following the shoreline. You're gonna find a beautifully gorgeous looking coral reef biome. You'll find a strange tree that has a copycat wood type. But then eventually you will find another shipwreck and spoiler alert, double tap the screen a couple times right now if you don't wanna know what's in this chest, but, but oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if y'all had that, but that's wonderful. Oh, and if one village wasn't enough, not a big problem at all. I got a second desert village for you, my friend. Camel farm right off the bat. Also a beautiful looking Badlands biome and a Plains biome. Oh, and there's even more shipwrecks too. <laughs> the seat is insane. Look, me and you, we're, we're good friends, which means I can be honest with you. For me, when I play Minecraft, it's about the journey. I don't really have a lot of fun and like rushing into things, doing a ton of stuff insane by like day 10. For this seed, it's all about the journey. I'll probably call it something like that. You're gonna spawn in this world right on that small beach. Right next to the beach, a beautiful, warm, lukewarm motion is giant. I guarantee 100% there's gonna be ocean ruins and shipwrecks in here. Check them out, maybe find a little bit of sniffers, a little bit of sharding. You know how it goes, it's fun. If you want to take your time and relax a little bit from World Spawn, head over this way and you're gonna find a ravine that's gonna cut down into some caves. Maybe you can get right to business mining or something. By the way, every single C is down in the description today, so you can copy and paste it. I didn't really use any short words or anything like that. It's a jumble of numbers every single time. Anyways, from our beach corner, World Spawn, head out to this landmass right here. You're going to find more caves, but you'll also find a ruined portal with loot there. From the ruined portal, you're going to find a desert village. Savannah village. Sorry, after you see what's going on in this world, you'll see why I mixed it up. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little distracting. Also, right by this village, you got an outpost right next door. Maybe you set up like an outpost farm or raid farm or something like that. It's cool. And finally, today, it's all about the journey in this scene. From World Spawn, I want you to chop down one of these trees, make yourself a boat, and set out sailing. You're going to basically follow this shoreline for, admittedly, kind of like a long time. With your boat, sail down the shore this way into a beautiful coral reef pile. Then cut across. You see that island in the distance? Keep going that way. Continue sailing right along the shoreline here for a long time, then eventually you'll reach these coordinates right here. At these coordinates is one of the coolest cave generations I've ever seen. If you want to build a lagoon base or something like that, well, this is the one for you. Tear out these mountains right here, and all of a sudden the ocean moves into the cave system, actually, and then it moves into a mine shaft. You got a spawner right there, too. That's great for experience. I mean, this is such a cool thing. You could terraform the side of the mountain, make like faces on the side or something, and then have a base literally in the ocean. Or, if you wanted to, you could move and land a little bit over this hill and find even more beautifully gorgeous mountains. Oh. <laughs> and whatever you call this, too. Uh, like a crater hole. I don't know. Anyways, beautifully gorgeous mountains. Of course, you see the pink wood, but look at these things right here. Maybe you want to build in this forest and have that as a backdrop. Oh, that is beautiful. And there's just tons of mountains in this area in general. When I saw this seed, I was kind of sad that I didn't pick this for the new guide season. Because this is just gorgeous. Next up, you actually got my runner-up for a beautiful world spawn seed. We're going to take a look at this one really, really quick. You're going to spawn literally inside of this village in this world. You know how that goes. There's going to be a camel here, too. The portal won't be here. I was testing stuff. 
Don't make a portal that spawn. The nether is absolutely terrible. From your warm and populated world spawn, if you wanted to get to a little bit of looting right away, you got a desert pyramid right down the shoreline right there, but maybe even more beautifully. From world spawn, this village right here, we're just going to go ahead and walk over here, get really high up into the world and look straight down. Oh yeah, by the way, outpost right there. But we're just going to go ahead and move really, really high up in the air, straight above this thing, and look at the ground. Then I need you to tell me if you see anything funny about that shape right there. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. I'm not mature enough for that seed. So inside of our next seed, seed number five of the day. Oh, it's beautiful. Inside of the overworld, right at World Spawn, which is going to be this beach corner. This seed is wonderful. Right at World Spawn, you got a small forest. Over there, you got a tall forest. You got a big plains. You got a big village. You got an outpost right over there. And you got that thing too. But we'll come back to the overworld. You see, hardcore Minecraft is about the difficulty. Eventually, get yourself a nether portal, then go back to World Spawn and make a portal. But when you do that, you'll be dropped inside of the nether right here. Now, depending at the point you are in the game, you might have a saddle. Go to this ocean and find a striker. If you can't find a saddle, though, no big deal. Follow the land of this way carefully through the crimson forest biome until it sort of starts to turn or whatever. Kind of like this right here. Then you're going to need to get down low and keep going. In this world, once you hit this dead end right here, it's time to mine. You're going to dig straight. Dig straight for a little while and you'll end up straight into... <laughs> well, you dig straight for a little while and you're back inside of the warp forest bomb. In fact, maybe you don't even have to dig if you go up high. But even better, well, 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 my, 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 we got one of the most dangerous structures in the entire game. Now, it's hardcore Minecraft, you gotta be careful. The only reason I'm showing you this one right off the bat is because you are guaranteed 120% of the time at the bottom a netherite upgrade template right from the beginning. Now, it's a bastion. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other beautiful loot. There's also going to be a lot of brutes, though. So <laughs> maybe gear up a little bit more first, but yeah, it's wonderful. Easy bastion with netherite. The nether is beautiful, but back over to the overworld here. I'd like to go check out this village really quick. So look, I don't know about you, but I feel like this spot right over here is particularly beautiful. You got a really nice looking hill with a cave in the middle and a hole, too. You also have that big village and an outpost nearby. They're far enough away that it shouldn't really be a problem. That is, as long as you don't leave the pillagers over. This village also has two blacksmiths inside of it. If you're newer to Minecraft, two blacksmiths is beautiful because the blacksmith is the one with the arm. Hardcore Minecraft is dangerous because you only got one try. If one bad thing happens, like say a creep responds to your base, walks over to you and goes boom, well, then the world is gone forever. But that could only happen if a mob actually spawns. If you were able to say, stop mob spawning somehow, Maybe with the biome that is 100% safe. Yeah, say a 100% safe biome right at World Spawn that is also 100% certified gigantic, like way bigger than you could ever need. It's a continent. Well, <laughs> well, honestly, if you've never tried hardcore Minecraft, this this might be the seed for you. This is by far one of the biggest mushroom island biomes that I've ever seen, and even better, it's got caves and it's right at World Spawn too. This thing is huge. And so, lads, here we are. We made it all the way to the end of the video. There is one final seed that I have for you. If you've enjoyed this seed showcase video today and you'd like to see me do more, then leave a like. That'll let me know. Subscribe for more videos, too. World Spawn in this world is right on that beach over there. From this beach biome, you got tons of options. You got a wonderful meadow and plains biome over this way that you could go and build in. You got a village right at World Spawn that you could go over and maybe, like, get geared up, get some food, get loot, you know, that kind of thing. You got some really cool-looking cliffs over there with iron all over the side of it and a big swamp biome, too. Maybe there's a witch hunt. I don't know. But one of the most important things in hardcore Minecraft is the Totem of Undying. Now, I gotta be honest, getting one of these things is not really a day one type of thing. It's a little bit dangerous. But getting your hands on totems as quickly as possible. Well, that would be beautiful. From World Spawn to this world, head over to the local village to get geared up a little bit. And then maybe backtrack, go over to the ocean and sail across it. Right across the ocean, <laughs> you're gonna find a woodland mansion right at World Spawn. Even better, this woodland mansion is like fully isolated. If you want to skip the mansion, like save it for later, well, that's not a problem. You could just maybe avoid this whole small island altogether. But whole small island, alternatively, you go into the mansion, check it out, clear it out, and then it's like not that big of an island. You could easily run around, light it all up, and turn your base into this entire island. I mean, it's literally an island getaway here <laughs> with free real estate too. No matter what you do with this world, then please remember that it is insanely dangerous here. <laughs> Absolutely 100% no matter what, gear up first. And so, some of the absolute best seeds that I've found for hardcore Minecraft 1.20. You got options. If you yourself do a little bit of seed hunting and find something cool, tell me all about it down below or even on the subreddit r slash waddles. Post a screenshot with the coordinates and what's actually cool there. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, it's been me, Wobbles. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.